All right, guys. Welcome to my first uh, video uh, for Chives TV. It is the first official uh, video. I've been away for a while, so I'm so sorry. I have been working um, tremendously full time, and uh, it's uh, I travel for for work, so it's taken a lot of my time. So uh, here I am. Uh, we're about to head out to the mountains uh, for the weekend, and um, I just wanted to share a little bit of uh, what I you know, take with me or how I pack um, my camera gear with me in a safe manner that's going to be light. I'm all about, uh, you know, uh, light, compact and efficient. And uh, today we're going to talk about uh, the F-Stop gear equipment. Uh, this is an ICU internal camera unit. Uh, this will actually fit inside uh, this bag. Let's take a look. This bag right here, folks, is the Loka, the F-Stop Loka Ultralight uh, bag. It weighs a mere one kilogram. It is my favorite bag. It costs, I think, $249 plus the ICU, uh, plus shipping. And I've had it for a couple months now. Um, I absolutely love it, guys. I, I, I adore everything I... Oh, there's a... Oh, there's a hole in the bag. I'm sad. Oh, whatever. Um, I love everything about this bag and um, it is pretty solid, although I did find a hole. Uh, it does get, go through a lot of use. We're going to go and talk about uh, how I pack my camera in here and uh, you know what I found very versatile about this bag uh, when I've been traveling. Um, I did just get back from Maui about uh, six months ago. Uh, we went there for New Year's and this bag was absolutely uh, amazing at keeping all my gear safe. Uh, waterproof and uh, certainly you know a uh, very easy uh, backpack to uh, carry on uh, the airplane because I think uh, for a lot of folks who do travel uh, to you know different places around the world to take you know beautiful photographs or even if you just want to take it with you on vacation uh, this uh, you know carrying the bag and you know making it light enough so that it can fit over you know your overhead compartments in a plane can be pretty tricky at times especially if you don't uh, you know have um, you know, smaller gear like I do. I use a Sony A7R, which is a mirrorless camera, very, very small, very compact. I've only got two lenses, and for some, it may not be as easy. But this is uh, something I can show you that is going to help you travel better and carry your gear better. So let's take a look. All right, let's talk uh, first about the ICU. Uh, the ICU is an internal camera unit. So what is an ICU? Well, the ICU is the compartment that actually slides into uh, the backpack and uh, it holds safely uh, all your camera gear lens uh, camera body if you want to put a flash whatever you like that you like to keep you know safe uh, it zips this way and here we go so that's how I carry my gear yeah it's a little messy sorry let's take a look oh lens cap fell off so I have in here my 16 to 35 millimeter Sony lens that I have. Uh, normally in here in this part, I would have my A7R uh, body attached with my 24 to 70 millimeter lens, which is again, fairly small. It's about that size, but probably not as big, not as thick, and you know, without the uh, uh, variable ND filter on it as well. I've got my uh, variable ND filter pouch, so I keep my caps and stuff like that in there. Uh, microfiber. Uh, cloth, very, very uh, useful. I know some people don't like it, but uh, I use it to, to clean the outside of the body if there's any dust or if there's any uh, water stains, especially from shooting in the rain. So keep that. Uh, your best friend. Uh, the uh, Dust Buster. Awesome for, you know, cleaning your lens without actually using any type of, you know, fingers, Q-tips or anything like that on the uh, sensor itself, which you shouldn't do. So use this. This is your best friend. I keep a couple batteries in here, so two extra batteries, uh, lens hood uh, on this which doesn't fit with the ND filter, and uh, miscellaneous, I have a couple batteries in here I probably shouldn't have kept, but um, I keep those for my flash, oops, but yeah, there it is guys, so that's what's on the inside of an ICU, it is very uh, malleable, it is very moldable, you can actually, um, you know, Adjust it just by Velcro, right? As uh, as you see fit, depending the type of body you may have. Uh, this is a small ICU. It is a standard ICU. They come in various shapes and size. So they come in a small, medium, 
and large and uh, they will fit accordingly to your bag so obviously with the small um, what I like about it is that it allows me to fit other things shorts uh, snorkeling gear even if I need to uh, pants uh, jackets whatever it is computer uh, inside the lot uh, the the backpack and uh, be able to carry all that gear um, as I'm going say hiking or wherever else so maybe even on the beach or you know some other spot that's that might be a little bit more remote and I need extra gear with me uh, so it gives me all the space that I need um, other than that that's pretty much it that's what I use to fit my personal gear in um, I don't have a lot of lenses uh, eventually I will grow into getting a prime and a 70 to 200 um, you know Sony lens uh, it's just a matter of why can't I afford it? I'm poor. So uh, I will get those eventually, but in the meantime, I've got two lenses, a 24 to 70 and the 16 to 35. That's what I shoot with mainly, and uh, they fit very, very well in here. They're very secure. It's very padded. Uh, I'm going to show you how this fits in uh, to the bag, but we'll talk about the bag first, and then I'll show you how to put it together. All right, here is a bag. Uh, this is called the F-Stop Gear Loca Ultralight. Um, it is one kilo. Uh, it is absolutely astonishing of a bag. I, I love every bit of it. It's very light. It's very well built. Uh, I know I kind of cried about this hole. I'll send them an email to see what they say. All about. So the bag opens from the back, okay? And over here, you can slide it down, open it up, and here's your entrance. And that's the bag. That's uh, the depth of the bag. I'm not sure if you can see it as a whole um, and get some depth perception in here but um, that's where the ICUs essentially go right obviously the ICU would be open um, the flat would be down here and then you would have access to your camera gear and lens the moment you open the big flap here and then this is what I'm talking about this is the extra room that you have up here for anything else so shorts uh, pants jacket whatever you need to to uh, to have extra um, in order to travel with you or go for a day hike or whatever the case may be you have a couch in here oh look at that you got fruit see <laughs> mangoes from costco maui anybody um i keep my food in here apparently but yeah there's a pouch in here and this allows you to put your laptop it's good for a laptop it's good for a tablet i'm gonna show you here that's my tablet. There you go. So fairly big pouch. This pocket will actually swallow a 13 inch uh, MacBook Pro, no problem. Uh, and it's great. Uh, on the other side, uh, you have a front pocket in here. So if you unzip that. Uh, oh, look at that. It's my reading material right there. One of my favorite books, American Sniper. Anyways. Um, it will fit anything additionally that you need quick and easy access to. So if you have a rain jacket or if you, if you, can, if you did buy the optional rain uh, jacket for, for this bag, the rain cover, you can probably fit it in, in here. Uh, really, really cool. When we went to Maui, we actually used this front pocket quite often for um, quick access to our waterproof camera, uh, to um, the selfie stick, and anything else that we need to, to put in here for, again, uh, easy access. Up top, you open it up, right? Look at that, more candy. I have a problem. Anyways, <laughs> so you get a pouch up here, and uh, you have two uh, slots. In here, you can put your memory card. I just happen to use my business cards in here. Uh, the inside is really, really cool. You don't get to see it well. But there is actually an aluminum frame in here, which makes the bag very, very sturdy. Um, all I can say about that is that it makes the bag very, very light. They use top grade material, um, and it really helps with the shape of the bag. So if you do have, you know, your camera in here, and you do have to store in your, you know, say, uh, airplane compartment uh, in, in the cabin there, uh, and you know, some guy comes in and starts shoving his stuff in there, well. It won't crush it. It won't uh, this you know bend the bag or anything like that. It, it's very very solid in that aspect. Uh, back padding is quite nice. So if you are going for a day hike, it is fairly thick. It's got this uh, 
middle piece in the middle here that um, that dips in a little bit in between the two pads. This allows you to have air running down your back, which is great. Keeps your back uh, fairly cool, actually, even in uh, 32, 33 degree uh, Celsius Maui weather. Uh, I was able to keep fairly cool with this bag. Uh, the zipper, top notch. Uh, they use very good zipper quality. Very, very smooth. And it's been through, you know, mud. It's been through. A lot of sand still have sand here as a matter of fact. Um, it's been through a lot of rain as well and uh, it's been very very solid for me. The zipper has not failed me once. Uh, it's pretty astonishing. I'm very pumped about that. Alright, let's take a look and see how this all fits. So, ICU opens up. You have to fold it this way. Okay. And you will open the top of the bag, right? So as you can tell, open the top of the bag, slide this in first, all the way to the bottom. There you go. And on the inside, you will have straps. So we just uh, go ahead and. Uh, Secure the straps in here. Make sure I'm about to do. There you go. There. So when you open your bag, this is what you get now. You get your camera, you get your lens, any additional accessories. This, when you're done, flip it up. Zip it. That's it. You're good to go. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If, uh, if you guys like uh, this first video, please uh, comment, click uh, a like, give me a thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, Captain America says so, so thumbs up. And uh, you know, click on subscribe. I'll give you some more uh, tutorials uh, coming up. I'll make some more. I'm making an effort this summer to make at least one video every two weeks if I can. <laughs> two weeks I hope so maybe once a month I'll try we'll see how it goes um, but I really want to start uh, helping you guys and teaching you guys uh, what I know uh, I'm far from you know the expert out there but I did go through several uh, you know bags cameras uh, I've worked for Canon at one point um, and uh, I've just you know I'm a photographer uh, you know at heart and it's, it's my passion, it's my hobby, that's why I love and I want to share it with you guys, okay? So that's it, and uh, hey, thanks for watching. Cheers.